Hey guys, thanks for coming back this week. Another episode of Budget Duck Hunting. So, here's what I'll talk about this week. You guys seen my decoy setup? Flambo, pretty cheap, sealed them, good to go. The best possible way that I can think of to uh, throw some motion in the decoys is let's throw a jerk rig. Now, everybody's got their own way of doing a jerk rig, which is fine. Uh, you know, a couple of my buddies have, you know, a couple 10 pound weights, throw it out, uh, have it that way. 10 to 20 pounds of a jerk rig, that's a little much for me to want to be carrying in on walk-in access public land. Don't want to do it. That's a lot. So, what I actually found, the one I want to go with, uh, similar idea is Bobby Guy Films. If you watch any duck hunting videos at all, you already know who the guy is. Uh, the video that he did on making uh, a relatively inexpensive jerk rig. I watched that. What I want to do is something very similar. The only thing that I want to do is something a little different. Um, I want to be able to add more decoys to the jerk rig instead of just having one line of decoys. Um, but along the same thing, I just want to give him a shout out. Uh, watched his video. He's the one I'm pulling all this inspiration from. So definitely go over there, check his channel out. Check his video out on Jerk Rig if you want to see how he does it. Uh, stay tuned. You'll see how I do it as well. So I purchased three-quarter inch PVC. Um, I went with three-quarter inch just because, you know, it's a lot more rigid. And when you do have some bend in it, um, it flexes back pretty quick. So, you know, the, the, the flex in three-quarter inch PVC is a lot stronger. Um, so that's why I decided to go with three-quarter inch PVC. So I purchased two 10-foot pieces. Well... I almost cut them in half. Quick hacksaw, cut them down, took the end down here, cut me a sharp end, of course, go into the ground a lot easier. And now the next thing that we're going to do, get the lows back, get the lows back. So, first thing I'm gonna do Take each of these eye hooks and we're going to screw these eye hooks into the top of these. All right, now that I got them started, I'm just going to take a pair of pliers, twist them down. Now, you can see right here the threads don't go all the way up here. So because of that, I don't want to screw this all the way down to here because I want my threads to make sure that they're still biting into the cap. So I'm gonna screw it down just to just to the top of the thread, just to the top of the threads there, and that's it. You can see screw in there. Screwed in just to the top of the thread. Ultimately, the, what, what's going to happen is we're going to take a little bit of plumber's glue or some super glue and just going to put those right on there just like that. Wanted to pick a neutral color, just picked flat black. These are literally going to be underwater. And if any of these are sticking out of the water, it's going to be maybe like that much anyway. So, neutral color, something like black uh, or a green, something like that, will be just fine. All right, so once everything's painted, once everything's dry, we're good to go, everything's assembled, next thing we gotta get, trot line. So decoy rigging line probably work. I didn't have any. I picked this up at Walmart for $2.30, maybe $2.29, something like that. Um, 249 feet of nylon drop line. So what you typically use for a trot line. Um, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I tie these off. Uh, to make them part of the jerk rig.
All right, so let me give you a little bit of background on what I've done here. So I've taken this trot line. I've rolled out probably 30 feet, 25, 30 feet here. This end right here is going to be tied off to one of our PVC pipes uh, that we've built, and it's going to be tied off uh, at the far distance. And now, to give you a general idea of why I've made three, I want to be able to kind of build a Y, uh, maybe around my kill hole. So I want to be able to put um, one of our points out here, one over here, we'll bring them back together at the third point, and we'll have multiple decoys going uh, on our jerk rig at the same time, at least that's the goal. So um, now that I've got all this right here, I'm gonna come back probably, there's five feet, five feet. I'm gonna come back about 10 feet from my tie off point, and I'm just gonna make a loop right here, and I'm gonna tie this off. And what I'm gonna be able to do is these loops are going to attach on my Texas rig, uh, where the clips on my Texas rig are, that's where these are going to attach. So I'm gonna go through on this 30 feet, uh, and I'm gonna tie off about three knots. So I'll have three decoys um, on this one, and then we'll have uh, another tie off point, we'll have another three. So I'm gonna space these out about every five, six feet or so and continue to tie some knots. Now I'm gonna cut it and I'll show you guys what I plan to do. All right guys, so I had these sitting out last night trying to dry. And wouldn't you know it, it rained. So these are a little tacky, but we'll still make do. Um, so one end, after I cut it, I'm just gonna tie off right here. I think I just tied it a little too tight. All right, there we go. Tight, don't tie it so tight you can't get it off. So there's one. And the other end. The other end. Mm, she go. Ah, there's the other end. So I'm gonna take the other end and we're gonna tie it off here. So between these, we probably got 60 feet of line, and this is gonna be built for three decoys to be able to spread out in a Y formation. Okay, let me throw uh, throw my waders on. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. With my middle stake. I'm gonna take this loop that I made, the middle loop, and slide it through this eye screw and keep it from coming back through. I'm gonna take my rig carabiner, hook it right there. Can't come back through. And we're gonna stick this in the ground here. I'm gonna take the rest of this trot line roll that I have. And I'm not going to cut it anymore. So I'm going to take my free end, tie it to my rig carabiner. All right, I'm just gonna leave this on the roll. So as far back as I am on the bank, I can just unroll it. Now I know a lot of y'all are gonna make the comment that, hey, those stakes are sticking out of the ground. Yeah, I see that. I see that I am probably gonna have to take a couple feet off of each of them, which I'm gonna do when I get home. But for all intents and purposes, I just wanna show you guys how this is gonna work. So. As you can see, I've got six decoys spread out in a Y. My other free decoys can go anywhere, uh, but I wanted the ability to have multiple sides of my decoy spread uh, on the jerk rig and be able to move. So if we anchor at one, at one of each end, and then we have a middle anchor, use my carabiner, all of our decoys are tied off. The flex from each of those PVC pipes out there should give us some pretty good motion. Oh yeah. Now, as long as those stakes, once I cut them off and I can get those where they're 
just submerged or maybe only sticking out a couple inches out of the top of the water, this will be perfect. But as you guys can see, I think that works pretty good. Yeah, I am pretty darn happy with that. So now, instead of just having one line of decoys on my jerker rig, I have two. And if I wanted to add another decoy to, or two, I just, you know, tie a couple more loops in there. But yeah, for all intents and purposes, for what I'm wanting to use it for, that works pretty darn good. All in all, you know, like test run wise, man, I am like ecstatic, super happy with like how that works. Really spreads the the movement out in the decoy spread. I mean, those it's probably kind of hard to tell from from the camera, but those decoys were about 10, maybe 12 yards apart um, in a Y formation. So by the time I surround those with the rest of my decoys, um, I have movement basically on both sides of of my spread. I built this entire jerk rig for about 10 bucks. Uh, it gives me you know uh, movement on both sides of the decoy spread for 10 bucks. Um, and I don't have 25 pounds worth of a jerk rig to pack in. Um, my entire jerk rig set up here will probably weighs one pound, maybe even less, uh, which is going to make it super, super easy and super packable for those public land hunts wherever I have to, where I have to pack a lot of stuff in. So super packable, super lightweight, um, super easy to build and dirt cheap. So, uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Um, subscribe to my channel. You guys are going to be the ones who, who help me grow the channel as much as I can. Uh, so by hitting that subscribe button, you're helping me out a lot. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment if you've done something like this uh, before or if this kind of helps you and give you gives you some ideas. I'm also going to link uh, down in the description uh, the video from, that Bobby Guy Films put up. Um, it helped me out a lot. It gave me the ideas to kind of to kind of put this into motion. Uh, and I was just able to kind of put my own twist on it, do my own thing with it. So I'll link that down below. Huge shout out to him. Uh, he's been pretty helpful uh, with this beginner duck hunter trying to get started up. So um, thanks, guys. See you on the next one.